Sometimes when you work in advertising, you'll get a product that's really garbage, and you have to make it seem fantastic, something that is essential to the continued quality of life. Like once, I had to do an ad for hair conditioner. The strategy was, add softness you can feel, body you can see. But the thing is, this was a lousy product. It made your hair sticky, and in focus groups, women hated it. Also, it reeked. It made your hair smell like a combination of bubblegum and Lysol. But somehow, I had to make people feel that it was the best hair conditioner ever created. I had to give it an image that was both beautiful and sexy, approachable, and yet aspirational. Advertising makes everything seem better than it actually is. And that's why it's such a perfect career for me. It's an industry based on giving people false expectations. Few people know how to do that as well as I do because I've been applying those basic advertising principles to my life for years. When I was 13, my crazy mother gave me away to her lunatic psychiatrist who adopted me. I then lived a life of squalor, pedophiles, no school, and free pills. When I finally escaped, I presented myself to advertising agencies as a self-educated, slightly eccentric youth filled with passion, bursting with ideas. I left out the fact that I didn't know how to spell or that I'd been giving blowjobs since I was 13. Not many people can get into advertising when they're 19 with no education beyond elementary school and no connections. Not just anybody can walk in off the street and become a copywriter and get to sit around the glossy black table saying things like, uh, maybe we can get Molly Ringwald to do the voiceover, and it'll be really hip and MTV-ish. But when I was 19, that's exactly what I wanted. 